I'm holding a $1,000 U.S. savings bond. So I lift up the edge of one, and I look, and I see 1,000 on the second. I lift up the edge of the second, and I see $1,000. So I take them, and I try to fan them out, and now I'm counting 10,000, 15,000, 17,000, 22,000, 26,000, 28,000 dollars in U.S. savings bonds are in my hand. I'm like, oh! Mardik, look what I found. He reaches out his hand. Give it to me, I'll look at it later. <laughs> so I get up, I kind of put it all back together, and then I hand it to him, and he takes that stack, and he just throws it on the upper right-hand corner of his desk, and then he was looking at a bill, and he put it on top of there. I went, oh, David told me about when David would spend time with my dad, how he would hide things, and move things around, and he could never find this stuff. And I said, I gotta get my hands on those bonds, because that's 28 grand. So I, David, I tell David, I said, David, we gotta plan what we're gonna do for dinner. He goes, we just had lunch. I said, eat, eat, dinner, kitchen. Okay. So we go into the kitchen, and I tell David, I said, we got to get those $28,000 in bonds. I said, we'll lose them. So we connive a plan. We concoct a plan, a grand theft of my father's money. So we go in there, do a distraction, kind of bait and switch with distraction kind of maneuver, grab those bonds, go back into the kitchen to finish our dinner planning, and we look at them closely, and they are 20 to 30 years old. I am holding in my hands over $100,000 in U.S. savings bonds. Have you ever held that kind of money? I've never held that kind of money, just then, and never since, and never before. That's a lot of cash. Like, crap, what am I gonna do with this money? If this gets lost, this is $100,000. My father's sitting there in the center of the morning if he has enough money to even visit us, and I'm holding $100,000.